Dead eye. What's up? Hello? Hey, Ryan. Have you ever just been obsessed with a content creator? Like, no matter what their thumbnail or title is, you're clicking on their video just because you love who they are. For me, throughout the years, it's been Casey Neistat, David Dobrik, Emma Chamberlain. And lately, it's been Eric Gideon, and most of all, Ryan Trahan. Howdy. It's your boy. This is a penny and I'm turning it into this house in one week. The metaverse. Ever heard of it? You know, this is something I've come a long way out to Los Angeles. Are you proud of me? I mean, the guy's killing it on YouTube right now. The stories he's crafting are so relatable, funny, impactful. I mean, I've binged them all. I opened the YouTube app in the first video. One of Ryan's. I mean, don't even get me started on this Dr. Phil video that he made. The emotions that you as a viewer feel as he's sitting there in that interview with Dr. I mean, come on, Ryan is on the top of YouTube right now. And whenever this happens, whenever I find a new creator who I begin to love and just watch everything they create, I always ask why? Because they've unlocked something that no textbook has ever taught. No one truly knows how this works, but it's the biggest reason of success for these top creators. Parasocial relationships. Luckily, I know a creator who has a strong parasocial relationship with his million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> Hi. Elliot, question yes. for you. Answer. Who are some of your favorite creators? I hate all creators. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite creators? That's a great question. I actually don't consume that much content. Okay. Should we just look? Yeah. I'm surprised your three roommates didn't come like top of your mind. Yeah, I mean, that's a given. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, Tejas? Oh, okay. He's probably my favorite creator. Yeah. Uh, he just made this YouTube video about the Grammys. I thought it was really interesting. Thank you. And, uh, you know, I subscribe and turn on my post notification, on your post notifications, which you should do for this video too. Appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I honestly don't really watch so much YouTube. Who is your favorite, like, entertainers? Gordon Ramsay. I really look up to people that have excelled not only in a career standpoint, but also from a personal standpoint. Like, mm. Gordon looks like he has a strong family and like values his relationships on top of being an ultra successful TV producer. And you can see how he's both talent and mastermind. Love that man. Gotcha. Do you know what a parasocial relationship is? I've heard you say that. Do you think you have a parasocial relationship? I don't know what it means. Okay, okay. So basically, it's this like illusion of intimacy, mm -hmm. right? So if I'm watching Jimmy Fallon on TV, let's just say I watch him every single night. Sure. Right? My brain doesn't know if he's in my TV or sitting on the couch next to me. So for the viewer, they feel like they're best friends with Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. But Jimmy Fallon has no idea who they are. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of relationship-based creators, mm -hmm. like you and like Emma Chamberlain, right? Like you, there's a million people who have this like relationship with yeah. you. Yeah, interesting. I know exactly what you're talking about because I have that same feeling, you know, like one time I met David Dobrik and like I mm. had watched him for a while. And when I met him, I was like, oh, yo, David, like, you know me, like I'm your, I'm your boy. You yeah. know, like we spend so much time together. No, it's, that's very one-sided. He doesn't know who the fuck I am. Yeah. But then, you know, a lot of people that I meet, it's like, I'm on the other side. They've watched a lot of me. They know everything about me. They know exactly who I yeah. am. So they come up to me, they dab me up, they say, hey, like, you know, we're, we're boys, right? Yeah. No, I've never met this person in my life. Yeah. And so I know exactly what you mean. So this is apparently the best cookie you can have in New York City. The thing is humongous. And while I rate this thing, I'm going to talk to you about why parasocial relationships even matter in the first place. Mmm. There's two reasons. The first one is parasocial relationships create true community, something every creator should be striving for. Gordon Ramsay is a pro chef for many, including myself. I only really know him through those clips that you see on the internet that go viral. What are you? An idiot sandwich. But the way Elliot was talking about him, you can tell that Gordon was an inspiration for him. When I think about Ryan, I think of someone who can make the impossible happen, but also someone who just has this contagious optimism. Once I watched all his videos, I noticed myself wanting to watch every podcast of his and every piece of content out there. He's like that one new friend you met back in high school and all of a sudden you just want to hang out with them 24-7. I'm telling you, this thing is like a sandwich. Mmm, oatmeal raisin is so much better than chocolate chip. And the second reason is if you're a creator and you have a strong parasocial relationship with the community, you've reached true longevity. There's this quote that says, escape competition through authenticity. Elliot, for example, can post a video that's titled, this is a vlog and still have a quarter million views. That's crazy, that's incredible. His audience watches him for him. There can never be another Elliot Choi. Same with Ryan, a ton of people can do trading up a penny to a house, a 
roller coaster a plane. And even if they do, I still want to watch Ryan Trahan. There's no other creator that can be a Ryan Trahan. This idea of parasocial relationships, I think, is the foundation of the top creators. And my goal is to study and try to recreate that through my videos. I'm noticing that I've already started to do this on my TikTok, but the goal is to do it at scale. Anyway, this cookie, if it wasn't a thousand calories, it would be a 10 out of 10, but because it is, 9 out of 10. You know, if there was only a way that I could ask Ryan Trahan about parasocial relationships. Um, have you met Ryan? No. Do you, do you... You should meet him. But Does he know you're making this video? No, or? no, but we have a ton of mutual connections and I'm hoping if I can social hack it enough, there'll okay. be a way. But, yeah. yeah, like I can call him or something. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. He's killing it right now. No, I can He's, call him and yeah. like, yeah, you should like do something for like the ending of this video with him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, I am. What's up? Hello. Hey, Ryan. Can you hear me? <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. I didn't mean to call you so randomly. Well, I'm here with my friend oh, Tejas. Okay. Hey, Ryan. Yo, what's up? I, it's, I was with Elliot and I was telling him I'm making a video this week saying the title of it is I have a parasocial relationship with Ryan Trahan. And it's like, do you know what parasocial relationships are? Oh, yeah. Yeah? So, like, the video is explaining that concept. Dang, I didn't know you knew what that was. What, is it, what does it mean I, to you? So, it's, it's essentially, like, you know, you have a relationship with someone through the internet, but they don't even know you, essentially. Is that right? Or yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. someone's coming up to me. How's it going? <laughs> I am. I am. Right Dude, I'm sweating right now. That's really? crazy. Yeah. No, I don't lie when I say I have a parasocial relationship with the guy. That's like, amazing. it's not. Yeah, you know the guy, dude. I know the guy. Yeah. He's super chill. Now I have just a relationship to get yeah. Nice. Now you have a social relationship. Yeah, just a social. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I know about love. Uh, you might get what you ask for, so you better be sure.